What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to repair a urethane Batman cow. Now not only can you use this method on cows but any urethane piece of armor, any prop in particular made of urethane. Now the reason why I'm doing this video is because last week my friend Jeremy who is known as Sentinel Cosplay who does an amazing Batfleck cosplay sent me his cow to repair that had split on the mouth corner. Now when the first initial photos of Ben Affleck in his tactical bat suit from Justice League were released, I did a video doing a breakdown of the suit and my thoughts on the suit and I was going to be using this cowl. This is a John Ninko Batfleck cowl. It's a beautiful piece. Now originally I was going to be doing an opening skit with this cowl. I was in a hurry. This is when I was working at Qantas and I had to film and go to work and in a hurry I grabbed the cow like this and went to rip it off the headrest that it was on and it has split all the way up here. So for months it has been sitting in storage. I have been deciding what to do with it. I was going to do a conversion to like an imposter joker cow for a custom collectible. But since repairing Jeremy's cow and having a solid method in place, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I repaired Jeremy's cow using John Ninko's beautiful cow here as a demo. Now to get that seamless look I had to make sure that the split on Jeremy's cow would fit back together perfectly like a jigsaw. So essentially the urethane has just split and separated, no chunks have gone flying, there are no missing pieces and that is the exact same with the Ninko cow. Now the main adhesive we are going to be using to bond this back together is Black Sikaflex 227. This is usually used as a car sealant and in fact this is the same stuff that Ben and I used to glue down my muscle structure for my Red Hood cosplay. The Sikaflex 227 is made out of polyurethane, the exact same stuff that this cowl is made from. So essentially we are going to be fusing the split back together. Not only that, I'm going to be reinforcing the inside with some Lycra and some more Sikaflex 227. So the first thing you want to do before applying any of the Sikaflex is give it a good clean with some alcohol. This is 99% alcohol. This is usually used to clean laptop screens, computer screens, TV screens, any electrical goods. But this is also going to ensure a clean surface on the split. And keep in mind, this has been in storage for several months. So there is probably some dust trapped in the split area itself. Cleaning it with alcohol too ensures that the Sikaflex is going to adhere even stronger to the urethane. Like I said guys, this is a very simple process. I just wanted to show you guys because it is helpful for a lot of cosplayers out there that have torn some armor, some cows, some helmets, anything in particular. I do hope this method helps you. So with that being said, let's get to it. Alright geeks, the blending process is pretty much done now. In total, this took five layers of Sikaflex and to be honest, I'm not 100% happy with where it is, but if we use any more, we're going to start to lose the detail overall in this area. Now I've tried my best to blend it back into the rest of the cowl. Now I know it does look very glossy here, but don't worry. We're going to be cleaning the cowl with some warm water once everything is repaired and that's going to bring an even tone to the whole cowl. Now that the outside is done, it's time to move on to the inside of the cow and back it up. Now to back it up, we're going to be laying down some more Sikaflex on the inside along where the tear was. 
We're then gonna lay down some lycra. This is just some spare four-way stretch lycra I had lying around. Uh, whilst it's still tacky, we're gonna be lying it down on the Sikaflex on the inside and then go over the exposed lycra with more Sikaflex. Think of it as insurance, you know, it's good enough that we've backed up the area here, but we do have to back up the inside because there is still going to be times where there's gonna be tension along this area and we just want that inside to be strong. Now I'm gonna try my best to try and show you guys the inside and the process. We could always turn the cowl inside out, but that would jeopardize the structural integrity of the repair job that we've done so far. Now, like I said, after this stage is done, we're gonna go over it with some nice warm water, give it a clean, get rid of that talcum powder, and then we are done. Okay, now that the Sikaflex is fully cured on both sides, we're gonna take some hot water with some dishwashing liquid, and we're gonna to start to brush it all over the cowl to give it a good clean. So you gotta keep in mind there is caked up bits of talcum powder in amongst the eyes, and we wanna make this all flush, because as you can see right here, the fresh Sikaflex is a gloss black, and from all the talcum powder and use from cosplay work, it is dulled down to a matte. Now once this stage is done, I'm gonna let the cow dry and then go over with some nice, clean, warm water and then we're gonna call it a day, guys. And there you have it geeks with a few easy steps and letting the cow sit for 24 hours to let that Sikaflex fully cure. We have fully restored John Ninko's beautiful back fleck cow to its original glory. Now that being said, I think I should pop the cow on, take it for a quick road test and just test out the durability of that repair. What do you think? Talcum powder. Airbrush. <laughs> Oh, it's toasty in here. There we go, guys, good as new. Wait for it. <laughs> now, even though I'm testing the flexibility and the durability of the repair, doesn't mean you should be pulling the cowl off this way. The best way to always take a Batman cowl off is at the chin, like so. There you go. Now, if you do follow these steps and the gloss look is a little bit too pristine for your liking, you can always go over it with some baby powder very lightly over the entire cow to bring it back to that kind of dull, weathered look. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope this video was helpful for you, not only for repairing urethane cows, but urethane armor, anything urethane in particular. Now, as you can see right here, I have got two upcoming custom collectibles in time for Justice League. So the plan of attack is I'm really gonna be going all out with the Flash. I have thought about that long and hard. That's what she said. So I'm gonna be reposing him in a running pose with some lightning bolts and his foot digging into the ground. As for our boy Batfleck, I'm just gonna be repainting him, giving him a brand new cape and actually putting him back in its original box. Now, if you guys wanna see John Ninko's amazing cows and a lot of other work that he does, all things Batsuit related, I will leave his links down below. He will hook you up, he's an amazing artist. Guys, wherever you are in the world, have yourselves a cracker of a day. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Hope you're well, hope you're happy. Be merry, be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.